I just hacked this Nikon camera. It's a Nikon D5100 and I'm going to show you how to do it. You can check the patching, you can check the hacking patching website to see which cameras are applicable. Not all of them are, but you know, up till like the D4. Alright, so what you're going to do is you're going to format your SD card. You're going to format the SD card in the Nikon. You're going to take that SD card and throw it into your computer. You've got it, you know, in the computer. What you're going to want to do is you want to go to Nikon. All you have to do is type in Nikon firmware. It's, you know, the download center. Just go to the download center. And then you're going to pick your camera. So mine's a SLR. It is the D5100. I'm going to go to firmware. I'm going to hit view download page. I'm going to go all the way down, blah, blah, blah. You know, just read and accept all that stuff. And it starts to download. So then you're going to want to open it. I've already done this, so I'm just going to do it again. You're going to keep it open it open it and then you're going to drag and drop this the bin file somewhere and then you're going to open up the nikon patching website that i've put in the link in the description uh you're going to look and see if your model is even compatible first off and then you're going to hit choose file at the top you're going to go to the dot bin file that you just extracted open it and then you're going to see all of these options. So I I went uh, removing that, removing that, clean, and then I went with the best video and, you know, all this stuff. Yeah, I didn't go for True Dark because it says, you know, there's there are some issues with doing this, so I didn't do that. And then when you're done, you accept any, you know, liability that you might have and you save the patched firmware file. That starts downloading. You save that to your desktop. You're going to have to rename it. Well, you can drag it first, or you can just delete this. Whatever you want to do, drag that into your Nikon SD card, into the root. Like, don't just just leave it there, and you're gonna rename it to just your camera model. You're gonna delete the patched and then the under under thingy. Extract that puppy, and you're gonna you're gonna have it. Put it in your camera. You're going to go to the setup menu and hit firmware version, and then you're gonna hit update. I've already done this, so I'm not gonna do it again. But once that happens, it's going to start updating and it's just going to, you know, be done. So that's how you do it. You're going to want to make sure that you're doing this on a full battery. Don't, you know, step out. Make sure it's a manufacturer battery or just plug it in the house power via USB, whatever you got to do. Make sure you get it done. All right, don't let it die. Don't turn it off. Don't mess with it. It'll tell you not to turn it off. So just don't just listen to the camera. Um, but after that, essentially just enjoy. So the reason I did this... Um, I wanted to start using my Nikon again. It's a perfectly good camera. In fact, my Sony rig here shoots lower resolution photographs than the Nikon does. So that's one of my reasonings for doing this. The other reason is because why not? It came out in like 2011. The autofocus still sucks. You know, upgrading this camera, uh, I went for 64 megabits uh, video in 1080, which is a lot um it started at i think 18 megabits and it shows because in my old footage you know i can't really pinpoint what's wrong with it but there's definitely like like it's so weird like like look at this footage from from the from the golden gate bridge like it, it just looks bad like and i can't explain it it's like grainy i don't know i mean there are there is some great footage that did come out of that trip um but like it didn't really shoot very good video and I kind of just set it on the shelf for a while because of it. So now I've got, you know, good video. Look at this, dude. It looks great. I mean, I, I really don't know. I haven't watched it yet because I'm filming it still. But yeah, dude, like I can use this camera again. So 